Hi hey y'all, just a couple tips and tricks. I don't like buying things that I don't have to buy. I would rather just come up with solutions myself. My, for my dehydrator trays, like when things were falling through, I decided to go this way. Yes, it's dirty. I just used it, so I have to wash it. This is a piece of nylon screen, and I just cut it. Hole in the center to fit the tray and uh, nothing falls through. They are washable. I have had this on my tray now for probably uh, at least five years and it works great. And I do like the fact it's washable. Just another tip or trick. Boiling eggs. I used to forget my timer all the time. So here's another way to tell if they're done. You simply pull them out, put them on a spoon. See how shiny that is. When they're done, they begin drying really quickly and that shine will absolutely go away. And if you can see right before you, it's fading out, which tells me my boiled eggs are finished. Did you know you can dehydrate rice? Cook it as you normally would, except leave out the butter or oil. If you know you're going to make extra, get it on a dehydrator tray and just let it roll. Then when you need to serve it back up on the quick side. All you need to do is rehydrate it like you would um, anything rehydrated. Give it about five minutes in, in boiling water while you're doing something else. You're good to go. No more waiting 20 minutes for the rice. Hi y'all. Here's another one. Corn silk. You know when you're peeling your corn on the cob. Um, this stuff contains vitamin C, vitamin A, it helps UTIs, it's a diuretic, helps blood clotting, lowers blood pressure, it's said to regulate blood sugar, it's an anti-inflammatory, it brings down cholesterol, you just make a tea with it just like you would any normal tea. Drink it, you know, you can also use the tea as a topical for boils, rashes, itching. Just let it dry out. This one is not in my dehydrator because obviously it doesn't take too long to do this one. What I do have in my dehydrator right now though is um, the rice and some jalapenos so I can make some more jalapeno powder. Okay, that's my next tip for you. Did you know you can keep eggshells? You don't have to throw them in the trash anymore. Simply when you're done using them. Now not all people do this, but I do. I put them in a pan of water, I boil them about 10 minutes just in, in case that there's any, you know, bacterias and things in there. Let them dry out, crumble them up, store them in a bottle. Um, you can use this for animals, you can use this for your garden. If desperate times happen to come, I would use it for me. I feel absolutely comfortable doing that. Eggshells, you can also keep them. Same thing goes with citrus peels. Um, I use them for my cleaning products, but I also put them in a powder form. You can add them to foods that way. Remember it is the rind, so it is potent. So taste as you go, but again if you need to make a tea for those colds and you don't happen to have any citrus fruit for that vitamin C in your house, you simply put this citrus mixture in with your tea. And then you have some vitamin C going in your body. And yes, I do the same thing with banana peels. Very high in potassium. You can throw this stuff in oatmeal. You don't want to do a whole lot because you will get a little bitterness, but still, yeah, you can do enough in there to add some potassium. Um, it's good in a variety of things. And saves your waste going out if you're like me and don't have a compost pile. That's probably all I'm going to do today, but y'all have a good day, and God bless you.